Hey friends, so <clears throat> tonight I am making a King Ranch chicken casserole. Have you guys ever made that? It's really, really good. It's like Mexican flavor, but it's got all the good stuff <clears throat> in it. But I wanted to show you guys how I make my chicken. So I'm not a huge chicken lover. I know, unpopular opinion. But I will say I can make some baked chicken like nobody else. So um, Rob always says too, he's like, your chicken's so good. So I thought I'd share with you guys how I make my chicken. Um, it's super fast, it's super easy, and, and it's super good. So I'm gonna share with you guys. And pardon the frizz, I did not use enough of my frizz spray earlier, so um, that's okay. But anyway, I'm gonna share it with you guys. So let me know if you make it, and let me know if you like it. And uh, more to come, thanks guys. Okay, so first, I can't do this on the camera. <laughs> Turn your oven to 375. So let's talk chicken. So I don't like dark meat. Again, another unpopular opinion. But I, for this, will always use skinless, boneless chicken breast. So I am sure you can use dark meat. I just can't tell you how to do it because I don't ever use dark meat. So we're going with the boneless, skinless chicken breast. I always like to cook my chicken in a glass casserole dish. I know, it's weird. But I do. So first thing you're gonna do is get your dish. I don't need a lot of chicken tonight, so I'm just gonna use the small one. And then I just put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom, um, just to coat it to make sure that your chicken doesn't burn on the bottom. So once you have the olive oil in the bottom of the casserole dish, go ahead and place your chicken breast in the casserole dish and put more olive oil on it. Not a crazy amount, just a little bit. Now, if you know anything about chicken, you know that you have to season it. It is very bland if you do not season it. So let me show you how. Okay, so you can basically use any seasoning you want. The world is your oyster at this point. Um, but here are my go-tos that I always do all the time. So I went ahead and put fresh cracked black pepper because that's a two-handed job and I'm holding my phone. Then you're gonna wanna put seasoning, or not seasoning, salt, regular salt. So just salt it good, again, need the seasoning okay don't judge all right and then my favorite granulated garlic you can tell I use it all the time you get it at Costco you can get it other places but Costco is life so you put that on there and then but not last second to last some onion powder I know it looks like a lot of seasoning y'all but it's a big piece of chicken and it needs it trust okay wait for the final ingredient you're gonna die yep if you're looking at it correctly that is salted butter on top of my chicken I am who I am don't judge trust you will love this but yes just a little pat of butter that's kind of a big pat but whatever put that on top of your chicken right before you put it in the oven I promise you it's a life changer then you pop it in the oven now you're gonna want to have it at 165 degrees internal temperature um, not the oven, but the chicken to make sure that it's healthy and um, for you to eat. So 165 degrees internal temperature. I started at 20 minutes um, and then check the temperature from there. All right, so we are at 165. So we are gonna transfer this to a plate. Now, you see all this goodness right here? This is liquid gold. So I'm gonna pour it on top of the chicken but you can also make a pan sauce, pan gravy for it as well, your choice. And there you have it friends, the final product. So again, from here, you can serve it as is, it tastes amazing. You can make a little pan sauce, you can make your own kind of mustard sauce, or you can do like me, I'm gonna shred it and put it in a casserole. So I hope you love this, hope you try it for you and your family, and thanks for watching, have a great day.